Big Z Reviews. True Detective Season 3 just finished uh, this past Sunday. And I must say that I absolutely loved uh, this show, this season. Like, it is a return to form. And, I mean, it may be better than the first season. Like, they're both, they're very different. But they're both excellent. And I think I may have liked this one slightly more. Or maybe I should watch the first one again. Things I've seen. Things I know. Wouldn't do anything but cause harm. A lot of people around this are dead. A lot of people gone. Most people that I ever knew are gone. Whatever you think you did or didn't do, you don't deserve to suffer. So this season was again written and created by Nick uh, Pizzoletto, and it is mainly starring uh, Mahershala Ali, uh, Carmen Ejogo, and uh, Stephen Dorff. And uh, I really liked, especially Mahershala Ali. Like if he doesn't get an Emmy for it, he'll, he'll be robbed. Because I mean, he like there again. There like there are three different time frames. There's one when he's, like, younger and when the actual uh, murder kidnapping happens. Then there's, like, 10 years later. And then there's, like, 20 years later. And then he's really old and kind of he has his his brain is kind of going. And, like, it's really, it really works because there's a thing where, like, it's almost like the other things are him trying to remember what happened and, like, trying to figure out. So he's, like, trying to solve the case again try to remember everything that happened while you're seeing what happened too. And each version of him is just, of uh, Detective Wayne Hayes, is just so well portrayed. Uh, It is ah, magnificent. Like, they're so believable, and they feel like they just come off the screen. Like, they're real people. And the makeup isn't distracting. The makeup works. And the mannerisms, everything, he, he, he sells... Each, you know, a, a younger person, a, a younger detective, like a uh, kind of middle, more middle-aged detective, and then and really older person that's, you know, that's losing his memory, losing his mind. And each one just works so perfectly. And I, I liked how they kind of go back and forth. Like, it could be, like, distracting or confusing, but it is incredibly well-crafted. Like, you, like... You, you you always knew what was going on and where they're and like what they're trying to do from scene to scene. For most of the show, I really wasn't sure exactly where they were going. I didn't know what was going to happen. Like, but you know that a certain time, you know, because no one's really caught because the stuff that happens at the end. But like, because you know that you're you're seeing it from in in like in the present day is that essentially there is a a person that's almost like a you know, a true crime uh, story they're making. Like, you know, one those all the different all those different making a murder and things. They're doing uh, a documentary about this case. So that like you it is it's very interesting to have it have it that framework that it, it was if it, 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 I really liked how, how that set up everything else with him like telling talking to the camera, talking to the woman, having and then having her sometimes reveal stuff. And like, and there's also other things going on where, like, you know, that what had there's more stuff behind the scenes that you know that, like, they, when Stephen Dorff, like the older version of him, talks to him, is like, uh, are you gonna are you gonna remember not to tell something? Like, you're like, like if I if I remember what we did, I remember not to tell anyone about it. Like, and there's some scenes like that where it's just it works so well. There's like there's so many different facets to this case and to the lives of these characters and what everything happened between them. But like Carmen Ijogo is like the love interest for her Mahershala Ali, and like and there's a good friendship between you know Stephen Dorff and Mahershala. Like they they you know, they feel like they're friends and and the, but they had some something happen that separated them over the years. And everything they do with all this stuff is, I like so much. Especially like at a certain point, it's almost like for the love interest in in the in the middle section, you're almost like you're kind of starting to not like her, and and but at the same time, the other points you're starting to not not like Mahershala Ali when there's there's like strife between them, and but you understand where their arguments are coming from, 
and it, it's it's very well written. But you you see you understand that it's not like it'd be easy like some of those scenes that you have like an angry husband and the wife uh, that wants him to stop doing something. You know, it's so like the tropes they're so well worn. And this one, it like it thinks it almost is it, it's like you think it's gonna go some direction, and then it stops and goes a slightly different direction. But you know these characters are real people. It feels like they aren't just like someone written written a bunch of words on a page and throwing it at someone to say. Like it feels like they're real. And the filmmaking surrounding it is also excellent. Like they do some some like one take scenes. They're like so they do some craziness kind of in the middle of the season. Similar to, like, the crazy scene in the first season with the bikers. And, like, the long one take where it's, like, a big, big gunfight. They do another they do another version of that with something else in the story. And I, I really, like, it's really well filmed. Also, it works because, like, there are con- the things happen because of that. And I like how they, the whole story is just intertwined with, these, with itself. And they, it creates this very interesting and... And really intriguing story that you just keep watching it. And like, I think that now that's all out, I think this show would be incredibly bingeable. Like, I watched it week by week. But like if you have HBO Go or HBO Now or you download it, like I think it could be incredibly bingeable. And I would highly recommend it. Like, it is a really great film, like a great uh, show, you know, about how uh, kidnapping and killing of two children. Can uh, like it, it, there's a great comment that they have about how how it stretches back and forth in time, an event like that, and affecting everyone around it, and destroying this town where it happened. And there's so much. Oh, it's, it's such an excellent show. I really give it like a ten out of ten. I loved it. Thanks for watching. And show you other playlists over my head. And subscribe to me in that Z over there. Thanks. This has been a Big Z TV show review. Thanks for watching.